We'd been trying for a baby for about three months. I came off the pill while we were on honeymoon. When we eventually saw those two lines rather than just one line, I was just like, this is it. And I instantly thought myself as two people. We had the scan. The little baby was there, little bean. There was a lot of silence. She said, um, I can't find a heartbeat. I could feel a curtain of black over my whole world, really. You're in this world of darkness and they're in a serene world and they're looking through a screen and asking you these questions like, oh, would you like to have these pills or would you like to have surgery? Almost a year after Bean had died, I just thought, I'm just going to take a pregnancy test just kind of randomly. And there was two lines and I just came out and we're, we're pregnant. It was all very surreal. You're just thinking of all the things that can go wrong. But we saw a little baby and we called her passenger. We could see the little heart flickering and the lady had to look at passenger. But she was silent. She was diagnosed with anencephaly. Her brain hadn't developed. Babies lost in the womb have never known fear or the cold. They've only known warmth and love, which really gives you a little bit of comfort. We decided in the garden we would plant two apple trees, uh, one for Bean, one for Passenger. In the summer, I often took Erin out to have a look at the apple trees and I can't wait to explain to her that she has a big brother and a big sister up in heaven and that her big sister sent her to be our little rainbow.